Welcome to Burr and Beer, where we'll be discussing part of the Burr strategy over a refreshing glass of beer. Hi, my name is CJ Kalio. I'm with WNN Properties. And today we'll be discussing creative lending with Richie Baggio. Richie is a longtime friend of mine who's an active investor here in, in Hawaii. He also specializes with private money. So Richie, so what is private money lending? It's a good question. <laughs> private money lending is uh, when you lend money that you may have or even may not have, and uh, the money works for you. So it makes a passive income. What are some sources of private money? Uh, I guess, of course, one of the best sources if, if you're a lender is if you have like a savings account, some money in savings or even retirement funds, I think, which is uh, a great way to utilize your retirement funds and also lines of credits. Uh, one of the most popular, I believe, that I see is uh, home equity lines of credits. It's money sitting in your home and basically doing nothing can put it to work. You said HELOCs. What about, why HELOCs? If they're paying interest on that, how are they making a return? HELOCs, it's uh, low interest rates. Um, because you're leveraging your home and on a line of credit, the interest rate is fairly low. If you're on a promotional rate, like right now, anywhere from 1.75 to maybe 2.75 on the high side for three, four years of a promotion rate. But you're making significantly more than that in the lending aspect where the people you're lending to, you know, they're paying you anywhere from an average 10 to 12 percent. So I'll take 12 percent and pay 2 percent all day long and make 10 percent on the spread. So you like to make the spread, basically. Yes. Cool. So why are you private money lending? Again, it's a source of passive income where you basically don't do anything. All you have to do is close your eyes at night and open your eyes in the morning and it's like money coming in. Yeah. Nice. Um, Although most of the time you don't get money on a consistent basis, normally like if it's a, a, a private money deal is on a, normally on a real estate transaction and you don't get paid until normally the property sells. So how long do you think the ex expected wait time is for a private money lender to get paid out? I think a good expectation is uh, six months is um, I guess you can run as an average. And does it go any longer than six months? Yes, it does. Uh, so personally, uh, we've been in a private money lending deal where it took 22 months. Wow. Almost two years long. Almost two years long. Cool. Thank you, Richie, for your valuable insight. And now the beer. We're drinking Red Horse beer at 1938 and those shine. Just a couple Filipino guys drinking some Filipino beer. Until next time, stay tuned to Burr and Beer. To the Burr! <laughs>